demonstrate is how we'll use Google Docs to basically create a record on Google Docs and then use Transaction to upload that data to SAP. And what I'll show you is a form in Google Docs and I'll show you the actual data in the Google Doc and then I'll show you the record in SAP as well. So what I'm going to start with is just putting in some basic data in our little scenario here. I'll put in uh, the date of today. I'll put in some basic data of who the person is who's ordering the, the beverage basically. And then we'll use the drop down list here and we'll choose, I don't know, Coco. And then we click on submit. And we get a response there. It goes back to the blank form. Now, what we'll do is I'll just show you in the Google Doc itself that the record has actually been created. And there you can see it's actually appeared uh, 1052 and it's 1057. So it's just happened now. Well, like obviously the clock's off on Google. And now what I'll do is I'll go over to transaction here and you can see with this version of transaction we actually have Google Docs as the mapping source. So I've chosen Google Spreadsheets and in fact my spreadsheet down below is rendered here. It's actually a URL which you can see here. I'll just go out of here now. And what I'll do is I'll run this, and while I'm running this, we'll just take the camera and we'll have a look at the spreadsheet, and you'll see it update with the uh, purchase requisition number in real time. I'll tell you when it stopped. Still, there we are, it's finished running, and there's the purchase requisition. It's just appeared in the uh, Google Doc. And now we'll go into SAP, and we'll actually have a look at that record in SAP. Slash in ME23. And the Google Doc number is 15. There we go. And I think it was, what number was it? 023. 023. There it is, Coco. And if I go now to the details, there you can see Joe B was the guy who. Thank you.